Hi, Mr. Corsi here. Beautiful diagram showing a regular decagon, ten-sided figure. You'll notice that there's, a, let's highlight one of them, there's a, a series of isosceles triangles in this diagram. One of them, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Two equal sides. Angles at the centre here, 10 angles. And these 10 angles make up 360 degrees. So each one of these angles must be a tenth of 360 degrees. In other words, 36 degrees. So we've got 10 36 degree angles all the way around the central point in the decagon. Now we did say if you look at this red shaded triangle that it's isosceles. In other words of the 180 degrees that make up these three angles, remember the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, we've already got 36, but these two, since they're equal, that's true in an isosceles triangle, these two angles are equal, then if I call that x degrees, this will be x degrees, and I'll have 36 degrees plus two lots of x degrees being 180 degrees. So let's find out what x is. Let's take 36 away from both sides. 36 degrees away from both sides. That'll mean that twice x is 144 degrees. Therefore x, half both sides, must be 72 degrees. So this angle here is 72 degrees and this angle here is 72 degrees. And that's true for all these angles round the decagon. They're all 72 degrees. In particular, these two angles here must be 72 degrees. And you'll notice that angle AKL is 180 degrees. And it's made up of two of these 72 degrees plus, well, let's call that Y degrees. Now, a couple of 72s we know is 144 degrees. So to find out what Y degrees is, we'll take away 144 degrees from both sides of this equation. So we've got 180 degrees minus 144 degrees. That gives us 36. So this angle here is 36 degrees. So finally, in triangle K, J, L, let's call this Z degrees, this is the angle we're asked to find, we've got 36 degrees plus this 17 degrees plus the angle we're trying to find, Z degrees, is equal to 180. Again, the three angles in this triangle add up to 180. Now, 36 plus 17 is 53 degrees. And if we take away 53 degrees from both sides of this equation, we get 180 minus 53, and that leaves us 127 degrees. We're asked to calculate the size of shaded angle KJL. So let's answer the question. Angle KJL is equal 
to 127 degrees. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.